stands as the world's second largest country. Its sheer size encompasses a remarkable diversity of landscapes, from towering mountains and fertile prairies to icy tundra and windswept coastlines. Canada stretches from the Atlantic Ocean in the east to the Pacific Ocean in the west, bordered to the south by the United States. Its northernmost point reaches deep into the Arctic Circle, a testament to its immense scale. This vast expanse encompasses a wide array of climates, from the temperate rainforests of British Columbia to the frigid deserts of the high Arctic. The rugged mountains and lush forests of the west coast give way to the rolling plains of the prairies, while the Great Lakes and the Canadian Shield dominate central Canada. Further east, the Atlantic provinces are characterized by their jagged coastlines and maritime heritage. From the bustling cities of the south to the remote communities of the north, Canada's geography has played a pivotal role in shaping the nation's identity and destiny. The west coast of Canada, encompassing British Columbia, is a region of dramatic contrasts, where towering mountains rise abruptly from the Pacific Ocean. This rugged coastline is deeply indented with fjords and inlets, creating a labyrinth of waterways that weave their way inland. The Pacific Ocean exerts a profound influence on the region's climate, moderating temperatures and bringing abundant rainfall. The Coast Mountains, a formidable range that stretches the length of the province, are a testament to the powerful forces that have shaped this land. The coastal forests, among the most productive in the world, are home to a rich diversity of plant and animal life, including towering Douglas fir, western red cedar, and Sitka spruce. The fertile valleys of the Fraser and Okanagan rivers are renowned for their fruit orchards, vineyards, and vegetable farms. The cities of Vancouver, Victoria, and others along the coast are bustling centers of commerce and culture, reflecting the region's prosperity and its growing role as a gateway to the Pacific Rim. Stretching eastward from the Rocky Mountains to the Canadian Shield lies the vast expanse of the Canadian prairies, encompassing the provinces of Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba. This region is characterized by its gently rolling plains, fertile soils, and a continental climate marked by hot summers and cold winters. The prairies are often referred to as Canada's breadbasket, as they are a major producer of wheat, canola, and other grains that are exported around the world. The flat to gently rolling terrain of the prairies is a result of millions of years of glacial activity, which deposited vast amounts of sediment across the region. These sediments have created some of the most fertile soils in the world, making the prairies ideal for agriculture. The region's climate, while harsh at times, is well suited to growing wheat and other cereal crops, with its long sunny days during the growing season. The lack of significant topographical features to block the wind can lead to strong winds that can erode topsoil and damage crops. Beyond agriculture, the prairies are also home to significant oil and gas reserves, particularly in Alberta. The oil and gas industry continues to play a major role in the prairie's economy, but efforts are also underway to diversify the region's economy and promote sustainable development. Central Canada, comprising Ontario and Quebec, is a region of striking contrasts, where the vast boreal forests of the Canadian Shield meet the bustling cities and fertile farmlands of the Great Lakes, St. Lawrence Lowlands. This region is dominated by the Great Lakes which form the largest freshwater system in the world, and the Canadian Shield, a vast expanse of ancient rock that covers much of eastern and central Canada. The Great Lakes, St. Lawrence Lowlands, are a hub of economic activity, home to Canada's largest cities, Toronto and Montreal, as well as a thriving agricultural sector. The region's fertile soils, abundant water resources and temperate climate have made it a center for agriculture, manufacturing and trade. The Great Lakes themselves are a vital transportation corridor, connecting the heartland of North America to the Atlantic Ocean. In contrast to the bustling south, the northern reaches of central Canada are dominated by the Canadian Shield, a vast expanse of ancient rock, lakes and forests. This region is sparsely populated, with its economy based primarily on mining, forestry and hydroelectric power generation. The Canadian Shield is rich in mineral resources including nickel, copper, gold and diamonds. The boreal forest which stretches across much of the Canadian Shield is a vast ecosystem of coniferous trees, such as spruce, fir and pine, interspersed with lakes, wetlands and rivers. Atlantic Canada, encompassing the provinces of New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island and Newfoundland and Labrador, is a region defined by its long and storied relationship with the sea. Its jagged coastlines, dotted with fishing villages and historic ports, tell tales of maritime exploration, fishing, and shipbuilding. 
The Atlantic Ocean has shaped not only the region's geography, but also its culture, economy, and the very rhythm of life for its people. The Atlantic provinces are characterized by a mix of rugged coastlines, rolling hills, and fertile valleys. The Appalachian Mountains extend into the region, creating a backdrop of forested highlands and picturesque valleys. The Bay of Fundy, renowned for having the highest tides in the world, carves deeply into the coastline, creating a dramatic landscape of towering cliffs and expansive mudflats. Fishing, particularly for cod, lobster, and shellfish, has been a cornerstone of the region's economy for centuries. Tourism has become increasingly important in recent years, as visitors are drawn to the region's stunning coastal scenery, charming fishing villages, and rich history. The Canadian North, encompassing the territories of Yukon, Northwest Territories, and Nunavut, is a vast and sparsely populated region that covers more than 40% of Canada's landmass. This remote and challenging environment is characterized by its subarctic and arctic climates, vast expanses of tundra, taiga, and permafrost, and a rich indigenous culture that has thrived in this harsh landscape for millennia. The Canadian North can be broadly divided into two main ecological regions, the tundra and the taiga. The tundra, found in the far north, is a treeless plain characterized by permafrost, a permanently frozen layer of soil, and a short growing season. Vegetation is limited to low-lying shrubs, mosses, lichens, and wildflowers that bloom briefly during the short summer. The taiga, or boreal forest, forms a band across the southern portion of the Canadian north, transitioning from the tundra to the south. This vast forest is dominated by coniferous trees such as spruce, fir, and pine, which are adapted to the cold winters and short-growing seasons. Indigenous peoples such as the Inuit, Dini, and Cree have lived in this region for thousands of years, adapting to the extreme conditions through their traditional knowledge, skills, and ways of life. Across Canada's vast and diverse landscape, the environment has played a pivotal role in shaping human habitation patterns. From the densely populated cities of the south to the remote communities of the north, Canadians have adapted to a wide range of climates, terrains, and natural resources, demonstrating resilience and ingenuity in the face of environmental challenges. In the southern regions of Canada, where fertile soils, temperate climates, and abundant water resources prevail, large populations have concentrated in urban centers and agricultural areas. Cities like Toronto, Montreal, Vancouver, and Calgary have flourished as centers of commerce, industry, and culture, attracting people from across Canada and around the world. As one ventures northward, the environment becomes increasingly challenging for human habitation. The growing season shortens, temperatures plummet, and permafrost poses unique challenges for construction and infrastructure. Indigenous peoples have inhabited the Canadian North for millennia, adapting to its extreme conditions through traditional knowledge, skills, and ways of life. They have relied on hunting, fishing, and trapping for sustenance, and their deep understanding of the delicate balance of the Arctic ecosystem has enabled them to thrive in this challenging environment. Resource development, particularly in the mining and energy sectors, has led to the establishment of new communities in the Canadian North. Canada is endowed with an abundance of natural resources, from vast forests and fertile farmlands, to rich mineral deposits, and abundant freshwater resources. These resources have played a pivotal role in shaping Canada's economic prosperity, its global standing, and the very identity of its people. From the early days of European settlement, natural resources have been central to Canada's economy. The fur trade, timber industry and fisheries attracted settlers and spurred economic activity. As Canada industrialized its mineral wealth, particularly in mining and energy production, became increasingly important. Today, Canada is a global leader in the production of a wide range of natural resources, including lumber, wheat, potash, nickel, uranium, and hydroelectricity. However, the extraction and use of natural resources have also raised concerns about environmental sustainability. Canada has implemented policies and initiatives aimed at promoting sustainable resource management, reducing greenhouse gas emissions, and protecting biodiversity.